Welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to go ahead and make some new bolts for the steady rest. These are the two that came with it. They're 5 16 by 18 threads with 5 16 square heads on them. So I suppose I only need to make one, but what I think I'm actually going to do is go ahead and make three new ones and put 3 8 square heads on them. And this way I'll be able to use the same wrench that I have here for the carriage stop. So it'll be one less wrench to track down every time I want to use the steady rest on the lathe. So I've got some 5 8 bar stock over here in the chuck. Let me get the camera moved and we'll start turning. We're getting pretty close to our finished size here. We've got about 25 thousandths to go. So I'll probably do it in two cuts. We'll take 20 and then come and measure one more time. And our finished size, we're going for a little under 5 sixteenths, somewhere between like 308 and 310, something in that range. We're at 308, right where we wanted to be. So I'm going to hit this with a chamfer and round out this corner here with a radius. Now I've got the lathe in back gears and a 5 16 18 die here in the die holder. And I'm not going to be able to cut this all the way. Once it starts getting full threads, it's too tough. If this was aluminum or brass, probably no problem. But I'm just going to use this to get a couple threads worth of start on here, and that'll make sure it's square. And then we'll go over to the bench and finish threading it over there. Cleaned up the thread a little bit there, just to get the burr off of the top of it. 
Now we've got the piece in a square collet block, all the extra sticking out the back so we don't have to cut it off and waste anything right here. This is 5 eighths, so in theory I should just be able to touch off and take an eighth inch depth of cut off of each side and should leave us 3 eighths in the middle. I think I'll actually take about a hundred thousandths and we'll cut two opposite sides and measure what's left in there and make an adjustment and then go ahead and cut all four. So these things are relatively inexpensive and make it really easy for putting squares or hexes onto round stock, but it's not necessary. For this you could do the same thing in a v-block, clamp your piece in here and cut one flat on it and then use any sort of square to loosen it up, rotate it so the flat is along here, and then reclamp it and cut the next side. Just work your way around. So these make it super easy, but not necessary. So I made my depth adjustment, dropped it down another 15 thousandths, and now we'll go ahead and cut all four of them. So now I'm just gonna cut it off and clean it up a little bit on the corners, just uh, knock off all the burrs, and then we'll face off the top of the bolt, and then it should be complete. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.